Welcome to the Visio Map Editor tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the Map Editor's layout and interface. Firstly, we wanted the Visio Map Editor to be as intuitive as possible. To help with that, we've used icons extensively throughout the interface. If you're not sure what an icon does, then hover your mouse pointer over it and some help text will appear. On the top of the Visio Map Editor, we have the menu view. For the most part, the menu view invokes an action on the Visio Map Editor server. The menu view exists no matter where you are within Visio Map Editor. However, the contents within the menu view will depend upon the currently active page. In this example, we're viewing the map page, so the menu items reflect that. Starting from the left hand side, we have the home button. The home button exits the map view and returns us to the map list page. Next is the map's domain and name. Here, we see that we're currently viewing the Visio Island map, which is hosted on the Visio Globe demo domain. Following this, the Save button allows us to save our map modifications to the cloud. Next, we have the Restore button. The Restore button allows us to load and view older versions of the map into our web browser. This may be useful if you want to see what the map looked like several months ago, or if we want to revert to an older version of the map. Next, we have the undo redo buttons. These invoke undo and redo actions within the local map currently viewed within the browser. There is a preview button that invokes a local action to quickly view the map in 3D. This is useful for quickly seeing how the current map looks when viewed in 3D. Let's try that now. Here, we see the 3D version of the map, and we can move the map about to look at it from different angles. Then there's the build button. Building the map generates a map bundle for your targeted platforms. For example, mobile, website, or kiosk. It's this generated map bundle that will be eventually used within your final application. Further towards the right, there is a search box. The search box allows us to easily locate places within the map. For example here, if I search for office, I get a list of results linked to office. And if I click on one of them, the map zooms in to that particular surface. Next to the search box is the help button. The help button opens the help and documentation page. Finally, within the menu view, there is a user button. This tells us who is logged in and enables us to perform user type actions such as logging out. Okay, so that's the menu view. Now let's move on to the tools view. The tools view can be found on the left hand side. Within the tools view, we have all the tools at our disposal for editing the map. As we can see, the tools view is made up of several tabs. The first tab is the drawing tab. The drawing tab allows us to draw and edit objects within the map. The second tab is the routing tab. The routing tab provides the tools to create and edit the routing network within the map. The routing network will be used to provide your end users with the best possible wayfinding experience within your venue. The third tab is the Settings tab. The Settings tab allows us to modify certain parameters associated with the map. For example, building and publishing options, as well as uh, layer options within your map. On the bottom right, we have the map view. Here, we can select what floor we want to view within our browser. We can also select the level of detail we wish to view for that floor. Level of detail 0 being the lowest level of detail. OK, now we know our way around the Visio Map Editor interface. For more details on each of those items that we've covered here, I invite you to check out the rest of the tutorial series.